Are you entering a new season in your life? Do you feel like you're in a season of change? Well, I've got some short, quick, to the point things that might help you navigate this new season. My name is Leanne Friesman, and this is Restoring Word. You know, sometimes in this walk with Jesus, things are going to change. And we can't always control them. But I've got good news for you. There are things that you can do that are very practical that will help you navigate these seasons and keep you at peace and keep you productive. Number one, number one, you've got to stay connected to Jesus. I love the verses out of John 15 where Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches. You know, if we stay connected to the source of life, we're going to survive. We're going to make it. We're going to come through strong. Um, we won't be one of those branches that dies on the vine that doesn't produce much fruit. We want to stay connected to Jesus because he is the source of all life. Secondly, take care of yourself. <laughs> you need to eat. You need to sleep. You need to exercise. You need to do some self-care as you're walking through the season of waiting or the season of learning the new thing, or the season of enormous frustration. Cut yourself some slack. Lighten up a little bit, okay? Sleep, rest, eat, and 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 preserve yourself because you, you're the only one that can walk through this successfully, get to the other side, and be victorious. And that's what you need to do. Number three is kind of a feed off of number two, rest. But it's more than just rest. It's really a state of faith. Um, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, come to me, all of you who are weary laden, and I will give rest for your souls. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. And you know, sometimes getting your mind to shut down when you're exhausted is really tough. Especially if you're a multitasker, you go 100 miles an hour, you have a million things that you're doing, and then all of a sudden at night, you know, you're it's 3 o'clock in the morning and your brain is on overdrive, been there, done that, okay? You need to rest mentally as well. You need to be able to just cast all of your cares upon Christ because he cares for you. Let him carry it. Number four, set some boundaries. You know, you can have the best intentions of the world and, and, and love people and care for others, but there are times you've just got to say, no, can't do it. I'm tired. Or I really have a project due this weekend. I can't come to this social event or whatever it is. You are you steward your life and your gift. And my scripture for that really is 1 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2. It is required of stewards that they be found faithful. You've got to faithfully guard what God has given you. And that means there are times you can't be there for everybody. You can't um, in, in volunteer for everything under the sun because you have to maintain and guard yourself, but more so when you're in a season of transition. Five, ask for help. You know, uh, Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10, it's better than, than one, uh, two are better than one uh, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. I thank God every day for my principal, for the teachers on my team, for the people who help me in my life uh, when I am just at my wit's end or I've gone through something very difficult and I need help. I just can't do it by myself. I need someone to carry it. And I recommend that you just be, you know, vulnerable and, and, and approach someone who you know could maybe simplify something for you and get that help that you need. Uh, six, work hard, play hard. You know, um, it, it is so important that when you achieve a goal or when you get to the other side of that transition or you've been through a very hard season, that you have that time of rest where you rejuvenate. You have to guard yourself and take care of yourself. I had an opportunity to go swim with dolphins with my niece uh, in January and water is my happy place. It's where I rest. It's where I'm at peace. It's where um, I play. 
and I need my water time. I need to sit by a lake and just watch the rain come in off the lake. I, I, I need that time to let my brain quiet down and shut down and, uh, and to reward myself. Seven, keep a journal and, and make a notes of everything that you're thankful for. You know, the one thing about going through a transition season is when you come out of it, often it's going to be your testimony that's going to help someone else in their transition. Having been there, having done that, I can tell you it's wonderful to get to the other side of that transition, but boy, it's miserable going through it. Uh, it's where your character is really, truly developed, and it's where you learn to just you know, give it all to Jesus because you can't carry it. You just can't carry it. Um, you can look back and be thankful and grateful for all the amazing things that Jesus walked you through. It's going to happen. You're going to get to the other side. You're going to get the breakthrough. You're going to get the promotion. You're going to have the new season. It's going to be exciting. Just be thankful. Have a great day. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I'm almost to 100 subscribers. It's going to help once I cross that 100. Currently, across all of my social platforms, I've got over 27,000 listeners. I am amazed. Wow, God has done a good thing. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. And have an amazing day.